Oh, hey, Nicole. Hey, Josh. <gasps> Josh, have you seen that? What? Oh, my gosh. Portal, portal. Welcome to Animal Portal. My name's Josh. And my name's Nicole. Armed with our trusty portals, we've been searching high and low to show you the coolest... Or creepiest... ...animals around the planet. And we're taking you along with us. So, Nicole, what have we got for them this week? We've got a great bunch of creatures for you this week. And there's an extra special treat for you, Josh. Exciting. Also, keep your ear out for this sound... <laughs> ...as it'll help you win our quiz later. We've got our weekly challenge during our trip to Paradise Wildlife Park that will help us determine who's better. Team Leopards, that's me, or Team Tigers. That's me. And we'll be seeing which team scores the most in this week's Creature Questions. But before all that, it's about time for this week's challenge. What are we up to this week? Let's go find out. Portal? Portal. <gasps> Where are we? I don't know, but... I think I can hear animal noises over there. Let's check it out. Hold on, what's this? I don't know. Hmm. Shall we find out? Yeah, let's have a look. What does yours say? I'm the biggest species of the cats, but I'm not my normal orange colour. Well, mine says, I share my name with a nice car. I'm sp super spotty and I'm the third largest cat in the world. Is this a race? I think it might be. The race is on. Oh, oh I found the Jaguar. Hey, Mr. Jaguar. How cool is that? Oh, what's this? I can be grey, white or black. And I travel in a pack. I wonder what that is. Let's go. Ah, I knew it. White tiger. And look, another envelope. I wonder what this one says. I store fat in these big humps on my back in case I run out of snacks. I think I know where that is. I found you. It looks like they might be sleeping. I can't see any. <sighs> Yet another envelope. Let's see where I have to go now. I'm only 12 inches big and I sing with my friend Pumba, who looks like a pig. I think I know where to go. Ah, here we are. Camels! <laughs> He's so big! Please be advised, camels will eat anything. Hope he doesn't eat me. Ah, just as I thought, another envelope. I wonder what this one says. I have two wings, but I cannot fly. I often like to swim, and on ice is where I dry. I've got it. I am out of breath now. Oh, the knee cats, where are they? I don't know about you, but penguins are definitely my favourite. Now, where's that envelope? What's this? Another one? Where do I have to go now? <sighs> well, it says... I'm not as big as the other cats. But I beat them in a race. I think I, think I know what it is. Better hurry. And here we are. Cheetah retreat. No more envelopes. I guess that means I won. I can't believe it. You must have used your portal. Hey, I won fair and square. And do you know what that means? Another point for Team Tigers. Although, it doesn't look like anyone's here. Well, I guess you're right. We can't hang around here for too long. There's far too much to see. You're right. We'll come back later. Portal? Portal. Oh, oh we'd be needing these on in here. No. Shame you're not 
quite as quick as me. I nearly had you. Well, I guess you earned the first point. Thank you, but don't worry, there'll be plenty of time to score points later on if you were listening for that monkey. But for now, that's one on the board for Team Tigers. What was that? Oh, don't be scared. That must be Luke. He's going to introduce you to some of his cold-blooded friends. Hope he's not brought anything too big. So we've been given an absolute treat today. Luke from Reptilers has come down to the studio to introduce us to a few snakes. So Luke, thanks for coming in. Who have you brought with you? Well, we've got a selection of snakes today. Um, we have uh, Prince, the raw python. Oh, wow. We'd love to introduce you to you. Wow. So this is Prince. And uh, how old is Prince? Prince is approximately four years old. OK, yeah. And where would you find Prince in the wild? Prince is from uh, uh, several regions of Africa. So he's uh, from Africa, so a very hot uh, climate. Um, and uh, this guy, they normally like to be left alone under rocks and things, but um, quite docile. I see. I see him moving his tongue a lot. What is he actually doing there? He's tasting the air. So it's his way of finding out what's going on, where am I, who are you? Uh, not necessarily for food always. And that's his way of sniffing, essentially? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. OK. Should we have a look at another snake? Sure. So we have Lady, which is our, um, what we call our high tangerine Honduran milk snake. Wow. Bit of a tongue, tongue twister. A little bit more active. And very colourful as well. Yeah, she's beautiful. Um, there's that tangerine colouring that you can see there. And this is a, what we know, this is a colubrid, which is a, a thinner snake. Um, no, she's a lot quicker as well. Like, what's yeah. the average speed of a snake? Oh, I don't know that. Um, I don't know the answer to that. But are they generally quite quick, though? Uh, yes, yeah, so on the ground, it'd be even quicker. It'd move quite, quite swiftly compared to the raw python. I think it's quite friendly, actually. They're quite nice. Yeah. Should we have a look at one more snake? Sure. OK. Wow. This is Monty. Whew. And, and he's, um, uh, yeah, how old is Monty? Uh, Monty is, is an unknown age because we rescued him. It's very difficult to say, but we, we think he's approximately seven plus. Seven? Just based on his size. And how big is he? He's, uh, he's just under 14 foot and he weighs uh, approximately six stone. <laughs> he's a monster. <laughs> he looks very, very heavy. Would I be all right to sure. hold him? Yeah, absolutely. You can just crouch down slightly. Kara's right. going to put him over his shoulders. Kara's going to walk around the back. Okie dokie. There we go. Ooh. And stand up. Oh, wow. Yeah. The texture is not what I was expecting. I'm quite interested to know, why do snakes have a bad reputation? Because they seem really friendly. Yeah, I mean, it's like in the wild, like any wild animal, you, you want to leave them alone. It's their territory. Um, they've been brought up to, for survival. Uh, but in captivity, it's slightly different because uh, you wouldn't say that they know their owners particularly. I mean, they'll know of us. Um, but in captivity, it's a lot different. We feed them, we house them well, they don't feel under as much threat. Uh, so generally speaking, snakes, uh, they're not to be... You shouldn't be concerned by snakes so much, as no. much as what you, uh, most people are. Definitely not. What's your favourite snake? What's my favourite snake? Monty. Monty. Even though I'm sure there's plenty more we could learn about these guys today, I'm sorry to say we are out of time, but thank you so much for bringing them in, and hopefully we'll have you back again soon. Thank you. Monty looked huge. I'm glad that was you rather than me. They're not as bad as I thought. They're really quite friendly, but I wouldn't want to meet one in the wild, though. Hey, seeing as we couldn't find the cheetah earlier, fancy going back to see what we can find out? Absolutely. Ready? Ready. Here we are, back at the zoo, and we've come to find out about the tigers. Hi Cassie. Hi. Thanks for talking to us today. So what are the names of the tigers? So the one we've got just behind us here is called Alina. Um, she's one of our females. We also have her sister that lives with us as well. She's called Siberia. Um, and then we've got a male that lives with both the girls. He's called Rocky. He's quite old. He's actually nearly 19 years old, which for a tiger is very old. So tell us an interesting fact about the tigers. Um, so tigers are strict carnivores, so they only eat meat. What is their daily routine in the zoo? So when, how often would you feed the tigers? We feed our tigers every three days. 
um, because this is a more natural way for a tiger to eat. Ah, so we saw Alina getting fed earlier, um, which was quite interesting, and, and we saw how much food was actually given to them. So we give them a very large amount of food in one go, and then for a couple of days afterwards we expect them just to lie around and do lots of sleeping while they actually digest their food. Oh, that's quite interesting. So they're not any similar to cats at all? No, so there are there are some similarities with domestic cats um, because they are quite closely related. Um, but obviously, the biggest difference is their size. They're much much bigger than domestic cats. Um, but some of the little mannerisms and behaviours are quite similar. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you for talking to us today. Thanks, Cassie. That's okay. We're going to get back to the studio. Yeah, we need to go. Portal. Portal. Thanks again to Cassie and everyone at Paradise Wildlife Park. We had a great time exploring and we hope you did too. Alina was pretty impressive and I think we all know tigers are the coolest after all. Oh please, just wait until we get our hands on a leopard and you'll see. Well I hope you've been concentrating and listening out for that monkey as it's time for creature questions. What do you think Nicole? I think I've got this. We'll see. Right, I'll start us off with question one. Ready? Always. What is a tiger's diet? Is it A, vegetables, B, roots and leaves, C, only meat, or D, a bit of everything? Mm. Mm. So, next question. How long can a wild Burmese python grow? Is it A, 14 foot, B, 18 foot, C, 23 foot, or D, 30 foot? And finally, what won't a camel eat? Is it A, bugs and insects, B, fresh fruit, C, nothing, or D, Josh? <laughs> I think it might be Josh. Um, hmm. Hmm. Hopefully, I've done enough to win it. I'm not so sure, but we'll see how we did a bit later when we recheck the scoreboard. But until then, I've got one more thing to show you. We've still got a predator to see in our fact file. Come on, guys. Oh, whoa, careful. This is a fearsome fresher shark. What makes these guys so dangerous is their huge tails, which in most cases is as long as a shark itself. And you've probably guessed, their huge tail means they can hunt with extreme speed, using their tails as clubs to hunt their prey. The largest known fresher shark can reach a length of more than 20 foot. That's longer than three of me together. But don't worry too much, fresher sharks love deep open waters and won't come near the shallows. Like most sharks, freshers have no real interest in humans. The only thing you'll need to worry about is a hard whack from a very large fin. Oh. Oh, well, I may have outstayed my welcome, but that is the fresher shark. Sharks are terrifying. Things like that make me glad we live on land. I know, you'd be hopeless in the water. <laughs> I think I could surprise you. Anyway, let's take a look at how we're doing on the scoreboard. I'm feeling quite confident for Team Tiger. Oh. Well, 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 Team Leopard came roaring back in the end and tied it up. I'll get the lead back next week. You got lucky this time. Right, let's take a look at what you guys have been sending in in this week's viewers portal. What have you got, Josh? So we have a lovely picture here. This has been sent in to us by Lauren, age seven, from Edinburgh. And this is a wonderful picture of her dog, Chewbacca. Wow, how adorable. Very much so. Thank it's you, lovely Lauren. Lovely photo. Thanks, Lauren. If you Lauren. want to see your photo shown, send it in via the Animal Portal website and let us know if you're Team Tigers or Team Leopards. And remember, the Animal Portal website has more fact files and other great activities. Also, you'll find our arts and crafts guides to make these cool little guides with things you can find around the house. Right, I don't know about you at home, but I feel like I've learned a lot today, and I hope you have too. So I hope you'll join us again next time. See you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.